Hi again everyone. The last uh, video I, I presented to you was of a cassette deck 1973 Akai GXC 46D which is a very early stereo cassette deck. This video I'm going to show you a cassette deck that's no more than possibly 15, 16 years old or something. It's a, a fairly recent cassette deck. It's a Tascam 112 Mark II and uh, Tascam the company Tascam is also known as TIAC. They are uh, well known for building audio equipment for recording studios, uh, radio stations, professional gear, and this certainly is a professional type of cassette deck. And I wouldn't be surprised if it came out of a radio station or something at one point because these weren't normally bought for home use. I think they were upwards of a thousand dollars or something brand new, you know, back in the day and uh, they manufactured these I think for about 10 years or so from the mid 90s to the mid 2000s and uh, I know Tascam they were also famous for building the little Porta Studio recording cassette recording and uh, I guess later on hard drive recording devices where people would have them at home and you can make your own recordings with uh, multi-track which is very cool um, this is a rack mounted unit. You can see at the end there, there's where you put the screws in here for the rack mounts. Now the quality of this, this is industrial strength. It's it's amazing. It's uh, I mean it's, I think quality is probably it could be up there with like the Nakamichis or something. Just you know really really top of the line kind of stuff. On the back of it, there's also a parallel port, which is something I've never seen in a cassette deck before. It's uh, maybe they plug it into a mixer or something with a, a parallel cable or even into a computer it's a possibility um, I'll turn it on here for you so here's a little light comes on inside and there is a digital counter and something I'll just show you here at the counter you put in a normal tape it comes up here it says normal eject that. It has a, a sensor in it. This is a this is a Max L tape. It's a uh, XLS or XL2S. It's chromium dioxide and it automatically senses that it's a chromium dioxide tape instead of normal. Now I don't know if there's any other settings on here. Put a tape in. There's the eject button, and there's pitch control. If you have an older tape or something where it's the alignment's not right or something, you can actually change the pitch, turning it on and off. And down here we have the plus and minus for changing the pitch. Soft touch controls across the front, and there are some uh, some buttons here for settings. Repeat, perhaps you can repeat a cassette. Memo in, RTZ, loc one, and loc two. Um, I haven't been using these and uh, I, th I suspect you can set a location or something on the tape and just have it rewind to that location very accurately I would think too it's uh, Dolby BC with the HX Pro the VU meters are enormous I'll just turn the light off here I mean they are huge you can see them from a mile away We have the input level inputs left and right, output level. Going underneath here, we have the monitor or monitor um, input auto, MPX filter off and on, Dolby noise reduction off, Dolby B, Dolby C. Two mic inputs left and right, and for headphones. You can plug the headphones in and you can control the volume on the headphones with that uh, little dial there. So it's really quite a unit. Press play and we'll play some music here. This is Susanna Hoffs from her first uh, solo recording after leaving the Bangles. I think it was 1991 or 92. I 
see my reflection here in the glass. This is the Tascam 112 version Mark II a cassette deck from the late 90s, early 2000s. Thank you for watching, everyone.